How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's boat showcase of this 2020 Chevy Tahoe for the Ucrest Fire District. So we're looking at this 2020 Chevy Tahoe for the Ucrest Fire District. Features sound off signals, blueprint system. It's the new 500 series siren. So that brings our uh, OBD2 reader with the link. And then we also have the sync. Uh, taking a look up top, we have an Enforged dual color, red, white, color to the back, graphics package by VSP Graphics. We've got a Weston Elite XD push bumper with four dual color M powers mounted in the cutouts. We also have dual color M powers on the side of the push bumper. We left the mesh grill in place. And then we also have a Weston uh, off-road light mounted to the push bumper. Then we also have the sound off signal Enforce fog light kit mounted in dual color. Uh, all of our white front does a white scene function to give you additional scene lighting if at night or an emergency scene where you need additional scene lighting. So taking a look at the side, you can see the rest of the graphics package that VSP designed for the Ucrest Fire District. Under our mirrors, we have the sound off signal uh, under mirror bracket with the surface mount intersectors in dual color. And then also in the rear side window, we have the sound off signal deck grill end forces in dual color. Okay, so taking a look at the back of the vehicle, uh, Empower Arrow Kit with four inch M powers. It's the eight module version. We have our parking lights rewired into blueprint to allow us to control them with the factory functions and with a flashing warning mode. Uh, LED bulb replacements in the reverse light to help maintain the warranty on the vehicle so that we can flash the reverse lights and we did not need to modify the existing housing. Uh, it also gives us the ability to do rear scene and reverse features for them. Taking a look at with the hatch open, you can see that the arrow stick kit shut off automatically with the hatch that's done through the link system. We've got four inch M powers on the rear hatch lip. We also have switches for them to turn them on manually. And then we also have the scene feature for them for that light to give them additional rear scene lighting. We have our sound off signal scene lights mounted to the rear hatch. They automatically turn on when the rear hatch opens, giving them uh, area lighting for the command area. We installed a Weston rear partition in the vehicle. We've got one of our storage organizers with a ratcheting magnetic command board. Ratchets up multiple different positions. Magnetic dry erase material. Allows you to use magnets if you have them from another kit or have them made. Cabinet has two large open compartments. Area for your gear and some other loose storage behind. Okay, so taking a look under the back of the seat, we brought our main distribution panel underneath here. We bring all of our power in and then break it out to where it needs to go from there. Uh, labeled fuse relay block, our ignition relays, ground stud, our 500 series amplifier, giving us our uh, outputs to all of our warning lights. So then uh, on our controller, we've got our siren buttons, our slide switch control for our warning lights, uh, arrow stick controller, our left and right alley, our front takedown, our cruise for our low, pa our low uh, steady glow lights. Uh, we're able to dim all the lights. We've got our rear scene uh, button, and then we also have the intersection mode to give them a more aggressive pattern when they're going through an intersection. Thanks for checking out this week's build showcase. If you have any questions about this vehicle or a different vehicle designed better to suit your needs, we work on all types of vehicles. Please feel free to reach out to us, ask us any questions, ask us any questions in the video here. Uh, we'd love to answer any of them.